who tried to rob you uh, on Melrose? That video I seen online. Oh, that wasn't Melrose. That was at my warehouse. Oh, okay. What happened? Who the fuck? So, you know me, bro. Like, I'm already on shit. Like, I be on shit. You feel me? And right. I'm always, like, safe. And, you know, I, I'm straight. But one day, that's why I got to get out of this, like, hustling mind, bro. I'm like, okay, y'all niggas moving too slow. I'm going to take the van and go and do this delivery and come back. Uh-huh. But I'm talking about I'm pieced up like this. Like, I wasn't even supposed to be delivering shit that day. So I'm like, I'm taking a van to go and drop some stuff off, drop it off. I come back. I just, like, feel like somebody following me down there. So when I pull inside, the, when I pull inside, I park. And when I park, I bounce out. And then, like, my car is parked across the street. Right. So now I'm walking to my car. Like, I when first step out, I see a nigga to the left. You're not in, like, familiar territory? Like, you're in an area that you're not used to being in? No, I'm in downtown. Oh, it's still the, downtown. Yeah, it's downtown. But this is, like, later. Okay. Like, usually, like, from, like, 1 to 5 or 1 to 6, I have security at my um, downtown warehouse. Uh-huh. But I got back, like, 6.30. Security is gone. Uh-huh. So I walk out. I look to the left. I see, like, somebody walking towards me, like, creeping. So then I look to the so I look to the left, I see him walking towards me creeping. And then I look to the right, it's another dude. I turn around, one of them run up, like trying to grab me, and I seen the other nigga with a gun. I just fire on him that tried to grab me and turn and ran towards the car. And then I'm like yelling, like, pass me the fire, pass me the fire, and then they got on. Really? They got out of there. Yeah. They didn't get nothing out of you? No, nah, nothing. 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 Wow. You weren't scared of getting shot in that moment? No, nah, hell no, nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. I was like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I know God got me, bro. I ain't, like, the shit, shit that I've been through and I made it out of, bro. And, like, I don't do, like, no real weird bullshit. Like, you know, I know God not about to let me take no L's like that. So, like, I really just, like, I see him. I'm like, I'm about to, like, I just fired and got on, but I'm not about to stand there and be like. Right. You know what I mean? Like. What was up with that uh, that dude who was posting on his Instagram story claiming that he that he robbed you or, or got shit out of your your store or something? Oh, you remember that weirdo? Yeah, what happened with that? It was a tweaker. It was Damn. a tweaker with an Instagram. Okay. Yeah, so like you know, we squashed it or whatever, but it just got down to like when we actually met up. It was like, bro, I didn't even know that was your van. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I was just posting what I took that night, and I started getting so many people hit me up. Because they knew mm. of you that I started getting into it with the people. Like, fuck you, nigga. I, this is my shit. You know what I mean? So that when I found out and I started going at him, he, like, really, like, tweaking, like, getting high at night, coming back over there, taking a picture of it. <sighs> you know what I'm like? Bro, like, you're going to get yourself hurt. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and to make it more complicated... I forget if it was in his bio or what, but he was he was from somewhere. Yeah, yeah. He was like, you know what I mean? But like, so I it's, called it's the touchy, you know? Yeah, it's so maybe like, not people you really want to have that big of a problem with. You know, but like, we got down to the bottom of it. He apologized, you know what I mean? Right. But he was really just a tweaker that just broke into the wrong van that night. Okay. That's the crazy shit about doing retail is that, yes, it's amazing for a lot of different ways, but at the same time, you're really giving access to you, even if it's through your employees and through the people that are hanging out at the store, you're kind of giving any old crazy person access to you in a way. Like if they want to fucking do something to you, well, here's your spot that's right out in the open. And, and you know? for the most part, that don't even ha hurt a lot of retail people. But again, like me being a remote control to control my like line, like when they see the brand, they see me. When they see me, they think of the brand. So like yeah. a motherfucker be in there and really like, be hot about an order he got late online yeah. or some shit, you know, or be really try to talk to me. So it's like you do put your life on the line when right. you just go in there trying to make money at your store. And it's crazy too having a store because I'm sure this happens to you all the time. Like you'll you'll take a day off, you'll be at the beach or you know off at Disneyland or whatever with your girl, and then all of a sudden you you look at your phone, you got ten different people be like, yo, I'm at the store, come out. It's like, bro. Well, in your case, you have two stores. Yeah, that's why, like, I got tired of that shit, bro. Like, honestly, starting, like, I would say, like, August, bro, probably before that, I stopped carrying the clothes. I stopped, like, you know, if you need some shit, I have a manager you can call. She will get you right. I'm not there, bro. Mm. Especially now. Like, I'm not there now at all. All right, guys, so the No Jumper Clips channel right here. Make sure you subscribe. We just blasted past 30,000 subscribers. Our next goal is 50,000 subscribers. Please help us out and hit that red button. Thank you.